Alright, so now that I've given you my, my history with the franchise, I think it's time to tell you what I think of each game now. This is not going to be my past opinions, I might mention them here and there, but generally speaking, I'm not talking about my opinions when I was younger, I'm talking about my opinions on these games now. These are my current thoughts on every Sonic game I've played, whether I've played it once or 50 times, because there are a few of these games where I have. Um, so yeah, these are my thoughts on each and every Sonic game that I've played. Please enjoy. So, what better way to start than with the very first Sonic game? Rad Mobile. <laughs> okay, no, I've never actually played Rad Mobile, but I do know it's technically where Sonic first appeared. Uh, I know there was, I think, Flicky, which came out the same year as Sonic as well, but it came out before Sonic, I think. So, uh, yeah, uh, I have played Flicky, for the record, so technically I could probably mention that first if I was going in order. Uh, but, nah, we're gonna start with the very first Sonic game. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna start with Sonic 1. So Sonic 1 is a game that, I'll be honest here, I don't really enjoy going back to. I know a lot of people still like Sonic 1. I actually know, thinking about it, oh, there's a lot of people that still don't like Sonic 1 anymore. They say that Sonic 1's just not very fun. I mean, obviously Sonic 1 still has its fans, um, but generally speaking, Sonic 1 is sort of the most divisive classic Sonic game besides maybe CD. Even then, I think CD is less divisive now. Um, I, I think CD is a, a, a bit more... It's weird, it's more loved in places, and it's more despised in places, but Sonic 1 is sort of like... I see a lot more hate for the game nowadays, and I I, I don't want to be that guy. I, I hate to start this retrospective off with a dud, but I really don't enjoy playing Sonic 1 anymore. Um, uh, even when I was a kid, I always found it kind of the most annoying. I, I, like everybody else, love Green Hill Zone. I know it's overused to shit, I get it, <laughs> but keep in mind, back then, Green Hill was interesting. It was the first Sonic game, after all. And I remember I played Green Hill. I still love the zone. I still think it's aged really well. I still think it's one of the best versions of Green Hill we've ever had. And that's a testament to how well the level was designed. It has a few slow parts. The higher routes aren't very interesting compared to the much speedier ones. But it's still a fun zone to go back to. And the rest of the game kind of sucks dick. So, <laughs> like, Marble Zone, everybody knows it. It's a sharp drop-off in quality. It's so boring and slow, even for a Mario-esque game. Because I know, like, so Mario was the basis for Sonic. Let's not kid ourselves. Uh, Sonic was even based on speedrunning Mario. But I'm sorry, like... Good god, Marble Zone is terrible. Like, even compared to, like, Mario stages... It's dreadful, it's so slow, it's boring, it's just, ugh. And that's really it. Like, Marvel isn't even really that hard. I don't find Marvel Zone hard. I, even when I was a kid, I was able to beat it. Uh, but it's just that the, the, the stage is just so plodding. It goes on for so long. And one of the other issues with Sonic 1 that I, I don't like is I feel like having three acts and a boss at the end of the third is kind of overkill. And, and these aren't just like, oh, well, you have, like, a boss act afterwards, like Sonic 4. No, you have the boss fight after, right, like, right as you get to the end of the third act, which usually lasts about the same length as the other stages, which could be, like, a minute to two minutes, maybe three. It depends on how, how, how much you suck or not. Uh, <laughs> I usually get past the stages now in around a minute and a half most of the time, with the exception of, like, you know, the really speedy ones, like, Green Hill, I get, I just fly by, um, and Starlight Zone, I also fly by, like, the first act is kind of long, it's around, like, a minute, um, which is kind of long for this game, <laughs> uh, but then afterwards, like, you have, like, a 45 second, uh, a 45 second act two, and then act three is by far the longest one, but really it's only because of the boss fight, 
But still, I feel like having three acts is kind of overkill, and the fact that some of these are my least favorite acts and my least favorite zones in classic Sonic is really bad. Uh, it doesn't help that, really, when it comes to Sonic 1, the only one I really care for is Green Hill, the first stage. Like, Spring Yard is better. It has a kick-ass track. I love it. It's my favorite uh, song in the OST. Uh, but it, it, as a stage, it's just sort of okay. Uh, I find it springs. It has a bit too many springs. It's a bit too wild. Uh, and the slow-moving barrels is like... It, it, really? This is a game about speed, and you're gonna have slow-moving barrels that go up and down? Really? Uh, it's just... It's kind of generic in comparison to the rest. Um, again, the aesthetic is great. The soundtrack is great. Uh, it probably is my second favorite zone, just because of the OST and the city in the background, but that's not saying much. Uh, it does have a funny moment where it says, uh, cope. <laughs> You're supposed to cope with all of the springs and loop-de-loops. That's a little funny. Uh, but other than that, I, I don't really find it very fun. And then you have Starlight Zone. Oh, no, actually, no, after Spring Yard is Labyrinth. I'm sorry, I... I almost forgot about Labyrinth because I wanted to erase it from my memory because it's so fucking bad. Everybody hates Labyrinth. You may say you might not hate Labyrinth. No, you're lying. If you like Labyrinth Zone, you're lying. There's no way you do. I'm sorry. You're objectively wrong or you're lying. Labyrinth Zone is shit. I don't care if you have the bubble shield or not. It is still shit. That place is slow, it is annoying, it is frustrating, it has the worst boss in the game, it's not even really a boss, it's just annoying. Fuck Labyrinth. It is the worst stage in Classic Sonic, or at the very least in Top 2. Fuck that stage. It's so boring. I don't even really care for the music much in that zone either. Like, it's okay, but I find it kind of annoying to listen to after a while. Uh, it's a bit repetitive compared to the rest of the tracks, uh, so, I don't know, maybe that's a controversial opinion, but, I don't know. It, it's probably my least favorite song of the main level's soundtracks. Then there's Starlight, which is a lot of people's second favorite. I personally find Starlight kind of generic. It's definitely better than the last zone, and it's definitely better than Marble, and in some ways, it does have better level design than Spring Yard. It does have a kick-ass track. Uh, not as kick-ass as Spring Yard, of course, but it's still very good. But I find Starlight Zone kind of generic. Like, the first act is okay, but the second act is really short. It's actually really great for farming special stages, too, because right at the very end, they actually give you... Uh, 50 rings, uh, so it's actually really easy to get a special stage ring there. But the the stage just kind of flies by, kind of like Green Hill, but it doesn't have the interesting uh, level design that Green Hill does. It's kind of simplistic. It also has a few cheap gotcha moments, and I really don't like the bombs. So yeah, uh, Starlight's okay. It's not horrible, but it's not great either. And then we have Scrap Rain, which... I do not like. I find it very cheap. It's not my least favorite of the final levels, but it's definitely one of the most obnoxious. <laughs> Besides maybe Metropolis. Holy shit, that... Oh, God. Like, when Johnny made a joke about how, you know, the whole send in every everyone from Megas XLR, that was very accurate. So yeah, the level list of Sonic 1, I gotta be honest here, I'm not gonna be calling, le like, every level by name in all of the games, but for this one in particular I wanted to, because I wanted to show you kinda why I have issues with Sonic 1's level list. I find Sonic 1 to be just kind of hit or miss, mostly miss to be honest, because, like, even the hits are really not that good, except for Green Hill. Green Hill is, like, the one exception where... Green Hill is basically a 9 out of 10, and then you either get like a 4 out of 10 with Marble, get a 6 out of 10 with Spring Yard, you get a 2 out of 10 with Labyrinth, maybe even a 1, and you get like a, a, a 6 out of 10 with Starlight, maybe 6.5, it really depends on my mood. Uh, 
<laughs> and then you have Scrap Brain Zone, which I think is like a 3 out of 10. <laughs> Not really the greatest track record. It doesn't help that Sonic 1 is very simplistic, and it... Even though it, it goes on, it, it's... The game is less than an hour if you're good at it. I can beat the game in under 40 minutes if I try. And with no game overs, shockingly. Uh, even with a life system on. I usually turn life systems off in most games, but even if I have the life system on, I can usually, you know, not get a game over in Sonic 1. I actually find Sonic 2 is a bit harder, but Sonic 2's added difficulty feels more justified. Um, I, I don't know, just playing Sonic 2, yes, it can be harder, but I would say it's more thrilling, it's more fun. So I don't care if it's harder, so, you know, because Sonic 2 is such a a structurally sound game, Sonic 1 is, it just drags at points. It's really boring, it's really annoying at times, and I don't really enjoy going back to it. Even with the Christian Whitehead version, which is my main way of playing the version, or actually no, the main way I play the game now is Sonic 1 Forever, uh, which is basically a enhanced fan uh, creation. Uh, it's a fan mod for the decompiled Christian Whitehead mobile phone version. Uh, you can decompile that and run it and play the Christian Whitehead mobile version on your, uh, on your computer. And that's how I first beat Sonic 1. But eventually, I got Sonic 1, uh, Sonic 1 Forever. And I played that, and it's definitely the best way to play the game. It has a menu system, you can get the 7th Chaos Emerald, uh, and get Super Sonic in it. Uh, Knuckles is playable, the physics are better, it's in widescreen, it's basically the best version, objectively. There's really no contest. But, even with that version, I still find Sonic 1 a pain to go back to. And, uh, I mentioned the special stages earlier, um... I hate them. I really hate them. They're some of my least favorite special stages in the entire series, and that's saying something, since it's the first one. Special stages were never really good in Sonic. I mean, they had a few decent ones, but most of the time they were shit. And Sonic 1 is one of my least favorites because it's really annoying to control. It's really nauseating. It hurts my eyes after a little while. It's just a huge fucking acid trip. Clement uh, calls it a puke bag zone, which I think is a good description. But yeah, it's not very fun, and the seventh special stage is fucking horseshit. The one they added so you can get Super Sonic, because originally in Sonic 1, uh, Super Sonic was unavailable. You could not get the seventh Chaos Emerald. There was no seventh Chaos Emerald. There was no Super Sonic. Now you can. You can actually get Super Sonic. You can go into the uh, level select if you're playing the uh, mobile version. I'm not sure what it would be for Sonic Origins, but for the mobile version, you have to use the level select, and you can either enter Super Sonic via debug or play a no-save file and get the 7th Emerald by uh, setting the Emerald to 7. Though with Sonic 1 Forever, you can set it to where you will have 6 Chaos Emeralds or 7. I always set it to 7 because Super Sonic. Why wouldn't you? So yeah. Uh, but like even with all of those fancy additions, and uh, don't get me wrong, they're great. It, they are amazing additions. They only improve Sonic 1. But in my personal opinion, even with the elemental shields, the drop dash, the CD animations, I still don't really care to go back to Sonic 1. I just don't find Sonic 1 very enjoyable. Um, sorry, I hate to start the, uh, the retrospective off with a dud, but thankfully... Uh, I can continue it with a positive, because now we're moving on to Sonic 2, and Sonic 2 is fucking awesome. Uh, I do have issues with it. I think the ending is pretty bad. I'd say once you get to Oil Ocean Zone is when it gets really annoying. That's when the enemy placement gets really cheap. That's when the level design becomes a lot more rigid, a lot more boxed in, a lot less, um, about the physics and momentum. And Metropolis is just the fucking worst. <laughs> like, that stage fucking sucks. And of course, the worst zone in the game has to have three acts. And then, like, you get Sky Chase, which is kind of boring. Like, yeah, I know a lot of people like it because it's, cal it's calming and soothing. And it doesn't go on very long. And it's easy. And yeah, I get it. But it's... 
boring, and when you replay the game, you kind of just want to skip it, you know what I mean? There's really not much to it besides you just killing enemies. There's, you know, say what you want to about Sonic 4 Episode 2's uh, airplane stage, and I have a lot to say about it, but at least it had something. Hell, Mirage Saloon, uh, the first act in that stage, I I in that zone, say what you want to about that for Sonic and Tails, but at the very least it had a cool train segment. Uh, this was just you on a plane, killing enemies, waiting for like a minute, and that was basically it. And then of course you had Wing Fortress, which sucks, and then you had Death Egg Zone, which, um, nowadays I have a pretty easy time with. In fact, I was surprised by how well I was able to take care of, uh, the Death Egg without using, like, a guide or anything, because I always heard horror stories about how he's really annoying to fight. Uh, and I didn't find him that bad, um, but I personally don't like fighting the Death Egg robot either, and it's not just because you have zero rings, although that certainly doesn't help, it's more because the boss fight goes on for a long, long time, and on top of it, the hit detection is just really bad. It's especially bad with Knuckles, which is why I don't really play as Knuckles much in Sonic 2, uh, so, uh, yeah. Thankfully, with Sonic 2 Absolute, or, hell, even the, just the decompiled mobile version, I can use the insta-shield, and the insta-shield absolutely destroys him. So that's really nice. And on top of it, uh, you can play as Tails, and now you can play as him with his flight, because uh, in the initial version of Sonic 2, you didn't have flight for some reason. I'm not sure why they had to add that, but I'm better late than never, I guess. Um... Still, that aside, Sonic 2 is much better than the first. The end, the end game may be kind of bad, but leading up to the end game is a journey I always enjoy. And even the ending isn't so bad that it makes me want to stop playing, except for Metropolis. That's the exception. But like, Wing Fortress is annoying, Sky Chase is boring, Death Egg Robot is kind of eh. But none of them are so terrible that I want to give up, except for Metropolis. Metropolis sucks. Uh, you cannot change my mind. That is the worst zone in Sonic 2. It's one of the worst zones in Sonic history, and I fucking despise it. Negativity pushed to the side for a little bit. Leading up to it, it is a very fun game. Uh, and now we have the mobile version, which is now decompiled. We have Sonic Origins. We have Sonic 2 Absolute. Uh, and while Sonic 2 Absolute does have a few bugs it needs to iron out, I do think it's definitely so far the one of the best ways to play the game uh and, and of course you know we have so many mods uh for those versions as well that make it even better uh tails and knuckles are playable and uh leading up to it like the game really never misses a beat there's like a few moments i find kind of annoying but even then like they're very brief like the chemical egg boss i find kind of annoying especially with tails when he hits it before you do and then you fall into the pit and die uh, that's annoying, but, like, other than that, there's not really much I hate. Like, Emerald Coast, or not Emerald Coast, Emerald Hill is basically a better green hill. It's faster, it's more vibrant, it's more fun. Uh, Chemical Plant is just nothing but non-stop speed, and I love it. Aquatic Ruin I'm not so much a fan of, mostly because I think the foregrounds and the backgrounds are kind of hard to dis uh, distinguish. And I find myself getting hit in some cheap ways, but what I really like is that you can ignore the water in the water area by simply going on to the top path. It's not my favorite water level, but I do think Aquatic Ruin is better than anything in Labyrinth Zone, which I really appreciate. Casino Night is still one of my favorite zones in the game. I know the casino gimmick is overused in Sonic now, but back then this actually meant something. And... I still think Sonic 2's is probably one of the best, if not the best, casino area. Like, I can't really think of another casino stage that I think is as good as Casino Night. I think Casino Night is still the best one. Mostly just because I think Casino Night, it has the most charm, it has one of the best themes. Like, yeah, you have the Sonic Lost World one, which was okay, but it was very obvious, it was nostalgia whoring. Uh, there's Casinoopolis, which I actually enjoy for what it's worth. 
but it's mostly more of a central hub to get rings. It's not a it's not really a level. The most level you're gonna get out of that is the sewer area. So that's really it. Uh, and other casino stages are just mooching off of Casino Night. There's, I guess what, there's Bingo Highway, which I'll get to later. I don't want to talk about heroes now. <laughs> um, foreshadowing. And, uh, yeah, foreshadowing. I have nothing else to say. Fuck heroes. <laughs> but Casino Night, in my opinion, is probably the best casino stage because it has the most charm. It has the best music. Um... It's just the best in terms of stage design. I really enjoy Casino Night. It's probably my favorite zone in the game. In fact, I think it is. Hilltop is nothing special, but it's not terrible, and I do enjoy playing it. And uh, Mystic Ruin is also very fun. Mystic Ruin is really great. And what's awesome is that Act 2, um, if you go into the pit in the mobile version, or in Sonic 2 Absolute via modification, or a mod... Uh, you can actually enter a stage that was cut from Sonic 2, revived and with brand new stage design. Really good stage design, too, which was Hidden Palace Zone. It is just one act, which is a shame, but it's one of my favorite stages in Sonic 2 as well, which is funny, because it, it feels more like a Sonic Mania stage than a Sonic 2 one. But that's probably because it was made by a lot of the same people who would eventually go on to make Mania. Still, uh, I really like uh, Hidden Palace. I am disappointed that you can't. It didn't use the original theme. It just used the Mystic Ruins multiplayer. I'm not sure why they didn't use the original theme, but you know, I I, I eventually modded it in, so I guess whatever. Um. And speaking of the soundtrack, uh, the soundtrack is better than Sonic 1 as well. Like, just take a listen to a couple of these tracks. Sonic 2 soundtrack is even better in my opinion. Like, uh, like the only tracks that can really come close to a Sonic 2 track in Sonic 1 are like Spring Yard, and that's it. Like, this soundtrack is so amazing. Even Metropolis, as much as I despise Metropolis, as much as I fucking hate that stage, um, it has one of the best songs of the entire franchise. It sounds way too happy for Hell in Sonic. So, uh, yeah, Sonic 2 is really fun. Uh, it is a bit more difficult than Sonic 1, but I think the difficulty is actually fine. Uh, don't get me wrong, Sonic 1 had its hard moments, but it really it was more plodding and slow rather than hard. I guess it's hardest to go back to, but eh. Sonic 2 is much more challenging, I find myself dying a lot more, but I don't really find it too cheap until Metropolis Zone. Well, okay, actually, no, because Oil Ocean, I'm not a fan of either. But Oil Ocean is nowhere near as bad as Metropolis. Um, I, I usually don't die in Oil Ocean. I usually only die in Metropolis and onwards. Um, and now nowadays, I can even beat the game without dying. Uh, though nowadays, I don't even bother with the life system, because Sonic 2 Absolute gives me infinite lives. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> 
But yeah, Sonic 2 is awesome. Uh, the, the level design is so much better. Oh, the spin dash. Like, I know you can play with it in Sonic 1, and it's not exactly a, a new feature anymore, but, like, now it's in Sonic 1 now, and it, I appreciate that because it really does make Sonic 1 so much faster, so does the elemental, uh, the elemental shields. But in Sonic 2, the spin dash really was a great addition. It just made... It just made going faster so much easier to do. You could just gain speed at an instant. Um, and it, it just it fit with the game so well, to where Sonic 1 now has it. Basically, every classic Sonic game has it. Um, I, I love the spin dash in 2D Sonic. It, it's so useful. Spin dash jumping is great. Spin dashing in general is great. You can make it so uh, there's, no, uh, there's no kind of... Um, momentum there's no kind of um there's a weird uh locking to your jump when it comes to spin dash jumping in the original games like when you spin dash jump you can't really influence your direction in mid-air anymore uh but you can fix that and it makes the game play so much better uh in, in general it's just it's you know now that you have the drop dash and the elemental shields Sonic 1 and 2 are so much fun to replay with those. I always play with the elemental shields. I always play with the spin dash, of course, in Sonic 1, because it's always in Sonic 2. Uh, I, I always play with the uh, drop dash from Sonic Mania. Uh, however, unlike Sonic 1, where I can't really play without those now, because Sonic 1 is just kind of eh, Sonic 2, I can still go back to just normal Sonic 2, and I can still have a good time. And the reason why is because it's just such a well-made game, for the most part. Uh, you know, the the stage design is better, the soundtrack is better, it looks better. I still think it's one of the best-looking games on Genesis. I actually think it does look better than Sonic 1. Uh, it's a lot brighter, it's a lot more cartoonier. It is a bit sim more simplistic in art direction, I see. I, 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 I think it is. Like, I, I, maybe simplistic is the wrong word, but it, it, it feels more like the- it, 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 it feels more like it's less- how I put this? Sonic 1 had a very dark kind of look to it. Uh, not gritty or grim or anything, but more like it, it, it was trying to go for something kind of like what, um... It's hard to- it's hard to describe. It wasn't as vibrant. As Sonic 2 is. Sonic 2 uh, doesn't have as many overt details, but I think less is more in this case because it brightened up the color palette, the character sprites have more detail, the enemies have more detail, the stages, I don't know if they have more or less detail, I mean some of them definitely have more detail, Casino Night and uh, uh, Aquatic Ruin definitely have more detail. But other stages like Emerald Hill are a bit more simple compared to Green Hill. But I think in this instance, less is more. Because it just, it, it, it just, the more vibrant color palette just gives a greater sense of fun. It just looks so much nicer than Sonic 1. So, yeah, I just, I, I really love Sonic 2. It's grown to be one of my favorite Sonic games over the course of playing all of the classic Sonic games last year and this year. And I still plan on playing it to this day. I still plan on playing it for years to come. It's it's now one of my favorite Sonic games. Uh, I mean, it was always a Sonic game I enjoyed, but now that I've beaten all of the classic games so many times, I can sort of play them blindfolded, except for Sonic 1, because Sonic 1 sucks. <laughs> uh, Sonic 2 is something I can go back to and have a good time with and then shut the game off for Metropolis and come back to the rest of it in like an hour or two, because fuck Metropolis. So yeah. <laughs>